The following is based on actual events. Only the names, locations, and events have been changed. <laughs> His name was Ron Burgundy. Okay, so he's a legend. And suits so fine they made Sinatra look like a hobo. <laughs> okay. In other words, Ron Burgundy was the balls. The balls. How now, brown uh, cow? How uh, now, brown cow? The mustache is good, though. You hear me? <laughs> Look at me! I'm sorry. All right. God. I feel like Will Ferrell. Like, what a fun job if he just gets to be ridiculous on camera all the time, you know? Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Cham Kine Sports. Rick Tamlin Weather. <laughs> And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. Freaking Ant Man. Ron Burgundy. Oh my gosh, she said a first one! Right now it's 82 degrees in our fair. We are number one. We just grabbed every key demographic. Super duper. That's nice. Oh, she's the from WandaVision, too. How funny. They got Paul Rudd and her standing next to each other. <laughs> I'm telling you, it don't get no better than this. We've been coming to the same party for 12 years now, and in no way is that depressing. <laughs> uh, all right, who's this? Okay. You have an absolutely breathtaking Heine. I mean, that thing is good. <sighs> be friends with it. I'm very important. Uh, uh, many leather bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> that sounded stupid. No, no, that's very exciting. <laughs> I love how she's just letting him do that. I want to be on you. Wait, 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 wait. I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's like. I want to be on you. Yeah, the rough, dude. You're okay? Oh, man. Uh, of course I met a lady tonight. This one was different, to be honest. Different because she just didn't know who you were? Come again? You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. <laughs> what? Huh? You pooped in the refrigerator, and you ate a whole wheel of cheese? How do you do that? <laughs> Actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. It's amazing. Ha, I forgive you. What He's do you say we cute. get your PJs and we hit the hay? I have, P I have PJs. Oh my god. The little news station PJs. Word on the street is they're looking for a new anchor. So, Ron. Put network. Are they here? Network is looking for a new anchor. That hair looks familiar. I'd like to introduce the latest addition to the KVWN news team, Ms. Veronica Corningstone. Dude, for sure, see? I look forward to contributing to this news station's already sterling reputation. Don't get me wrong, I love the ladies. I mean, they rev my engine, but they don't belong in the newsroom. Oh my God. Not a girl lady, and that is a scientific fact. Uh -huh. Oh my god. I don't know what we're yelling about! What do you think? Terrible! She has beautiful eyes and her hair smells like cinnamon! Mm hmm. Oh my god. Okay. She's not gonna take anyone's air time. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. Bears can smell the menstruation. Well, that's just great. Read somewhere? I like how they're equally acting upset, but like he's he's obviously like uncontrollably simping. The only way to win is to be the best. The very best. All right, so she's about to create some competition. I think the best thing to do with this corning stone. Dude, I love corn dogs. I love corn dogs. No, don't litter. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Okay, that's that guy from Dodgeball. What is his name? Ron Burgundy and the Channel 4 News Team. Hello, West Man Tooth. West Hello, Man Tooth. News Team. Hey, nice clothes, gentlemen. 
I didn't know the Salvation Army was having a sale. Where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? That was a good try. What are you doing on our station's turf, Burgundy? Oh, that got so bad, they don't even acknowledge it. And then take your mother, Dorothy Mantooth, out for a nice seafood dinner and never call her again. Dorothy Mantooth is a state. You understand me? The mother's out of this, all right? Leave the mothers out of this. I hate you, Rob Burgundy. I hate you. Oh, my God. Can't say, you can't say one word? Even the guy who can't think says something, you guys just stand there? Come on! <laughs> Thinks so. right, but I think oh. I'm just going. Let me just grab this. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Whammy. Mm. Let me get this over here. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh. There it is. Well, I'll give this little cookie an hour before we're doing the no pants dance. Oh yeah. Wow. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. 60% of the time, it works every time. 60? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't. Well, <laughs> let's go see if we can make this little kitty purr. Oh, man. Hey, sweet cheeks. My God. What is that smell? That's the smell of desire, my lady. God, no, it smells like, like a used diaper filled with Indian food. Yeah. You know, desire smells like that to some people. <laughs> smells like Bigfoot's dick. Bigfoot's dick. Oh my God, is the alarm going off? I'm telling you, she is a real ball buster. <sighs> a real ice queen. Mm. I just burned my tongue. The only way <laughs> to bag a classy lady is to give her two tickets to the gun show. Oh, Lord. 4,002, three. Helen said that you needed to see oh. me. I'm just gonna grab this shirt if you don't mind. Just watch out for the guns. They'll get you. <laughs> this has to be the feeblest pickup attempt that I have ever encountered. I have very little time to get to the gym, so I have to <laughs> get his shirt my on. guns at the office. Oh, stop calling your arms guns. My plan was to ask you if I could squire you about town, because I know what it's like to be lonely in a new city. But this is not a date. No, of course not. Not a date. Okay. Great. <gasps> so I pick you up. Oh my God. I'm actually taking Yikes. them back right now. Taking them back to the, the pants store. Okay. Taking them. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed. Oh my God. Frame up two. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy. Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> he's very cute. Very cute. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's hairy. Okay, so she's secretly it crushing then. I'm number one on his license plate. San Diego. Which, of course, in German means a whale's vagina. Hmm. No, there's no way that's correct. <laughs> Agree to disagree. I. Oh. Uh, Mr. Burgundy, we will be honored if you will play jazz flute for us. Huh? I can't. Please. You play jazz flute? I dabble. Would everyone love to I rum dabble. Play some jazz flute? Jazz flute. I love jazz. If you know one thing about me, you know I love jazz. Give me that jazz flute. Ron Burgundy. Oh my god. It was literally in his sleeve. <laughs> it was literally in his sleeve. Oh. I used to play the flute. Could you imagine if I could jazz it up on the flute, though? Oh, shoot. I have a feeling it's about to go off. Um, wow, maybe not. I'm not hearing it right. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> why is he moaning like that's that? He's making music. That's what that is. Uh, okay, that's why. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. 
Okay, not possible, but it's good, it's good. Oh, I don't know if you can do that with the flute. Oh, okay, she's feeling it. She's feeling it with that jazz flute. Like, he is ridiculous, but he is kind of charming, so I, I, I understand her. I get it. I think I get it. You should be going. I swore that I would never get involved with a co-worker. Wait. What if just for tonight, we weren't co-workers, we were... Co-people. Co-people. <laughs> you be a woman. You continue to surprise me, Mr. Burgundy. <laughs> really? Oh my god, dude. Okay. <laughs> the flute, because it's on the ground because it was in his sleeve. Take me to Pleasure Town. Oh, we're going. Oh. Take me to pleasure. Oh, nice. Love is like candy on a shelf. I love the sweetest you. things I are there for you. you. Help yourself. Take a few. Oh. That's what you're doing. You're telling yourself to love. Give my heart your smile. Hands on. We got it. Who came up with that? It's very important to me that I be viewed as a professional. Right. When in Rome. <laughs> that uh, expression doesn't doesn't really apply to what I'm talking oh. about. Oh. I, <laughs> what I was saying. I don't quite understand what it means. Oh, no. You'll find it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. And now we are in love! Bro. Oh my god. What's it like, Ron? Love. Yeah. Oh. What is that? It's tough to explain. I think I was in love once. Really? What was her name? I don't remember. That's not a good start, but... I love lamp. I love lamp. Do you really love the lamp, or are you just saying it because you saw it? <laughs> I love lamp. I love lamp. You really okay. want to know what love is? Yeah. Yes, tell us. More than anything in the world, Ron. I like how they scream about the the one part she didn't want to be shared, but then like they're talking about like the better portion of it, and they close the door. My baby gonna hold her tight, gonna grab some afternoon delight. The motto's <laughs> afternoon delight. <laughs> it's right. Why wait until the middle of a cold dark night? Wait. Oh. A little clearer in the light. <laughs> What? And we know the night is always gonna be here anyway. <laughs> Making up is working up. Oh, woo! Looking forward to a little afternoon. New delight. <laughs> what the heck? Afternoon delight. All right. Afternoon delight. You guys have it, I think. What in the world? They could just, they're just harmonizing. Delight. Singing. Oh, Ron. That sounds kind of crazy. Afternoon delight. I'm gonna make a phone call here. Freshen this up. The cat fashion show. <laughs> oh, look out. Next up, it's Whiskerous Maximus. I never it's thought I was gonna be a cat person, and then no. The tiniest lion. I have a cat. And... <laughs> I'm getting some great stuff this morning. Oh my god, he looks like a baby. Is that Seth Rogen? All right. And that, of course, was our newest reporter, Veronica Corningstone. She's really great. I'd also like to share with you that we are currently dating and that she is quite a handful in the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was that? Uh-oh. I might be in trouble on that one. <laughs> I can't believe that you said that we were dating on the air, Ron. I report the news. That's what I do. And today's top story in Ron Burgundy's world read something like this. I love Veronica Corningstone. I mean, it's kind of sweet. <laughs> this burrito is delicious, but it is filling. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, why is he littering so much all the time? There's burrito everywhere. What the hell, bro? It's Jack Black? <laughs> oh my god. 
destroyed the only thing I love. It's kind of ridiculous. I hate to admit this. I have never watched the movie Tenacious D, but excuse me. <laughs> every time Tenacious D has <gasps> come, every time Tenacious D, he just kicked his stuff. Uh, uh, no! Where the hell is he? He'll be here. This city needs its news. Oh. And you are going to deprive them of that because I have breasts. Exquisite breasts. <laughs> face palmed him backwards. Ron, are you okay? The man put it back, sir. <laughs> Off the bridge, bro. Off the bridge. I, I don't under I didn't understand a one word you said. Ron, are you okay? I didn't understand a one word you said. Poor Ron. Ron, wh where are you? He loved that dog. Last case of emotion. He's gonna put corning stone on. He's gonna put corning stone on. <clears throat> Bro, you're not Ron. Ron Burgundy is off tonight. I'm Veronica Corningstone. Okay, we're off and running. Made off with over twenty thousand dollars from an area bank <sighs> in a daring early morning robbery. You're trying to get her to mess up. From all of us here at Channel Four News. I'm Veronica Corningstone, and thanks for stopping by, San Diego. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ron, Ron, darling, I'm so oh. glad you're all right. Oh, God, listen. I, I'm here. Listen, I have... We can do the news now. It's all right, everyone. I want to talk to you about we, can, we can do the news. Hold on. Veronica filled in for you. What? I can't believe you did this to me. Oh, my God. You read my news. I told you that I wanted to be an anchor. I thought it was a joke. I even wrote it down in my diary. Veronica had a very funny joke today. Oh my God. I cared for you. Get out. Just go. You we are. I even wrote it down in my diary. You have broken my heart, Mr. Burgundy. From there on out, things just got worse for Ron Burgundy. And the decision has been passed down to make Veronica our co-anchor. Wow. No. Oh. And she looks snazzy today. Oh, God. No, no. Well, I don't feel much like dancing. Nation's first Some female anchor. Honest. Well, for all of us here at Channel 4 News. Is that like a thing? Like women weren't in Lassie, San Diego. And news broadcasting? I'm going to punch you in the ovary. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Straight shot. Ooh, ow. Right to the baby maker. <laughs> Uh, jazz flute is for little fairy boys. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can't work with this woman. <laughs> that that was such a do the line. You're watching Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor Ron Burgundy and Tits McGee. Good evening, San Diego. I'm Veronica Corningstone. Tits McGee is on vacation. And I'm Tits. I'm Ron Burgundy. <clears throat> <sighs> There's only one thing a man can do when he's suffering from a spiritual and existential funk. Go to the zoo, flip off the monkeys? No. Buy new suits. Yeah! girl. <sighs> Where the hell's the suit store? We've been walking for 45 minutes. Rick, I thought you said this was a shortcut. Fantastic. But Why did you guys oh. listen to him? Jeez. Hey! Uh-oh. Oh, they're on their bikes? Where did the ladies went out for a little stroll, huh? You know, I understand that... Uh, Is there going to be, like, a fight? Like... You had to bring a female in. Change your diapers. Wipe the dribble away from your bubbling the lip. Alley? Rub Vaseline all over your hiney and tell you that it's special and different from everyone else's. <laughs> He said I Why is he standing over there? Get back over here. <laughs> Let's dance, dickweed. Wanna dance, Ronnie? A dance battle? I want a polka. What the f A grenade? Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. Alright! Hey! Whoa! gonna have a fight 
And don't forget Channel 2 News. Oh, God. Not so fast, you ingrates! Public news team is taking a break from its pledge drive to kick some ass. Uh oh, another group. Oh, it's him again. Spanish language news is here. Tonight's top story the sewers run red with Burgundy's blood. Wait, so they all want to fight Burgundy? <laughs> She's standing there screaming with a hand grenade. Oh my god, he's on fire. Where'd they get horses? <laughs> what? <gasps> Ew! Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh my God! Why does it look like that on the inside? Now I'll be number one. <laughs> no, you won't. Police! <laughs> Better go. Get out of there. Like how it's all of the news people in one area. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. I saw that. Brick killed a guy. Did you throw a trident? Yeah, there were horses and a man on fire, and I killed a guy with a trident. Brick. Wow. Excuse me, Miss Cornerstone, what are you doing? I need to use this machine so I can watch a tape for a story, Ron. Well, I'm using the tape. I'm showing I'm showing Jeffrey here my Emmy tape. We are watching history. Mr. Burgundy, you are acting like a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm a man. I am an <laughs> anchor man. You are not I am a man. That joke. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? <laughs> oh my you god. Have bad hair. <gasps> oh no. Whoa. Oh my god. Work it out. It's between the two of them. She maced him. Oh my god, he just maced himself more. Stop. Stop what you're doing right now. I will not have my newsroom be How's, How can he even open his eyes right now? Knights of Columbus, that hurt. I just. I can't believe what Ron did to you. Have you ever thought about fighting fire with fire? Fighting fire with fire. That you can choose to use or not use. All right, on give it to us. We'll read anything that is put on that teleprompter. And when I say anything, I mean eh, me, eh, nga. And I killed Sparky too. <laughs> That is true. From the entire Channel 4 news team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fight yourself, San Diego. <laughs> Who did that? Oh no. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Do you even know what you just said? <gasps> oh, great Odin's Raven. Veronica, she put that in the teleprompter. You're probably right, but... This is bad, Ron. Real bad. Ron, why did you say that? Why? Why, Because he's a prompt reading machine. You're my hero, Ron. <laughs> oh, my God. You come out with stink like that. Poop. You poop mouth. You come out with poop out of your mouth. Oh, my God. You poop. Poop mouth. The stink out of your mouth. Do it quite well. Oh. Oh, and he doesn't have his his puppy anymore because Jack Black murdered him. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, lady. Is he drinking milk? See you guys. See what I see what I'm telling you? Look. Milk is rock bottom. <laughs> The milk debacle will continue because Chad keeps showing me. Chad keeps showing me movies with people drinking milk. <sighs> See miserable people drink milk. Milk was a bad choice. 
Oh, I'm just yeah. messing with you guys. What? Oh my God. Listen, everybody. Ling Wong, the panda, is giving birth. Get, get Corning Stone over there right away. I can only speculate as to the sex of the His arm. If I had to guess, I'd it's say still gone. female. Good afternoon, San Diego. We're here today to celebrate the birth of a panda. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon did I. <laughs> still singing. Now what the hell is wrong with you? I got no heart because a she-devil stole it. A she-devil? You know what the worst part about it is? She's better than me. She's better than me. You know, times are changing. Our ladies can do stuff now. Huh? And you're going to have to learn how to deal with that. Were you saying something? Look, I don't speak Spanish. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Scotty! Scotty, I have the shot! That's the kind of shot that gets you to the top of network news. <laughs> well, we hope. We at public television, we're really down with the woman's lib thing. You know, that is so refreshing to me because. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, you son of a gun. <gasps> Dude, they're huge. Don't Where the hell is she? Have you seen her? I'm killing me to do this. I'd rather slit my throat. Hello? It's Ron? Who is this? It's me, Ron. Ed. Who? Does this mean you're asking me to report the news again? Yes. Ed, I'll be down there. And I'm going to look good. Is it going to like cut scene, quick change? Yeah, the camera slightly moves. If I'm going to do this, I'll need my news team at my side. News team! Assemble! <gasps> hey. Hey, Ron. What's up? Oh. There was a time when you called me your lead anchor. It's honestly... Will you follow me again? Inspirational. Motivational. To the news fan! To the news fan! Let's go get him, guys. <laughs> Wait! Did you just hear something? <laughs> Veronica! Help. Oh my god, we've got to do something! Ron, I know it sounds harsh, but God does not want her to live. Oh my god. We go into the bear pit. No, run, no, no! No! Uh, I immediately regret this decision. It's all right, my sweet chinchilla. Ron. My sweet Kiss chinchilla. Today, that dirty trick with the teleprompter. It wasn't oh, my... sweet Eli Whitney's nose. It wasn't you, was it? No, I did it. You poop mouth. Jeez. Oh, you woke the bears! Why did you do that? You see! Bear bite! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Hey, Ron! I'm riding a furry tractor! <laughs> The bears have descended on the news team, and it's not going well. Clearly, after today, I don't know. Come on! Oh, God! It's getting the beaver goddamn ridiculous! <laughs> oh, no. We woke up the mama. Is Seth, is Seth Rogen filming this? Where is he? Where is his character at? Where is he, cameraman? Oh. He's gonna see him. See little Baxter for the first time. <laughs> Is my cousin go in peace? Be a friend of the bears. Baxter was just out there living his best life. Oh, uh, things really turned around for Ron. I've been waiting to say this to you for a long time, honey. I pure, straight, 
hate you. But gosh darn it. Do I respect you? Um. Okay. What the poop mouth? Dude. Sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to. Thank you. Let's forget. I'm probably not allowed to. I think you've got a story to report. Do it. I'm going to need some help from my co-anchor, Miss Veronica Cordingstone. No, no high pressures. No brick. No, no brick. Brick. No high pressures. Close. Ron, there are literally thousands of men that I should be with instead, but I am seventy-two percent sure that I love you. Seventy-two. Yes, redemption was sweet for Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, planet Earth. <laughs> planet Earth. I'm gonna shoot you with a BB gun when you're not looking. <laughs> In the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> you do not take a tone with me, because I will give you a rap. I love Jack Black. Okay. Yes. Now this is happening. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Oh, damn. They named it San Diego, which in German means a whale's vagina. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out and watching Anchorman with me for the first time. Um, this movie is, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. It's funny, but yeah, ridiculous. And like, it, it just seems like a bunch of people like hanging out and having fun and making something literally ridiculous. Um, the legend of Ron Burgundy. I don't know if I have much to say, but I do like the that they like set it back in the 70s and also just uh I don't know, some of the humor is pretty funny. I think Chad was describing to me that there is like a group of movies that kind of falls into a specific category of time, like when they were making these movies and obviously 2000s. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure I'll watch four of these, but definitely Compared to some of the other things that I've watched have been more serious, it is nice to watch some comedies. But um, Jack Black, I love him. So it was kind of cool to like see people pop up. But obviously there's Paul Rudd uh, playing kind of a different uh, type of character, still uh, comedic. And then I get to see, you know, some people from Dodgeball who I'm becoming more familiar with. Um, I wish I knew their names. I really should look up their names. But Globo Jim that guy that nobody makes me bleed my own blood guy um and then average joe's the guy uh he's more of the bad guy in this one and it's just funny like you have all these news anchors competing <laughs> in terms of stations and then like this oh sorry i'm like bumping the thing you have all these news anchor anchors that are competing in terms of their stations and who's gonna be number one and then who's gonna go national whatever else and then this love story that's entangled into the middle of it and um it seems like yeah at the end they do kind of get back together i did see that on amazon when i was trying to get the movie like pulled up so i could start watching it that there is a second one um so we'll see if that is something that we're gonna end up covering maybe if not on the channel then patreon who knows uh we could put it on patreon but yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.